Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. The Philadelphia 76ers preparing to defend home court in this Eastern Conference battle. you played for five different teams a couple of them multiple times how long do you think it takes to feel comfortable in, in a new situation for a player I, I tell you Kevin that's such a hard tight rope to play I remember mm. uh, going to different teams and you have to understand the culture of the team you have to understand who their best players are already you have to understand the style of play and Building trust takes time from both sides. So usually you'll come into a situation and you want to make sure that you're showing that you're a great teammate. And so usually in that area, teammates are saying, wait a minute, we brought the guy, we brought you over here. We want you to be that guy that we traded for, the guy we just signed or recruited. Mm -hmm. We were a fan of you. Do the things that you do great. We'll catch up with you. So a lot of it starts with mutual respect, and that means mutual deferment. And then after a while you're both deferring, you're like, wait, we got to win some games. Okay, you be you, I'll be us, we'll all do it together. And kind of once you get over that kind of fine dance in the beginning, that icebreaker, usually that's when things start rolling. So here's Miami's starting group. Williams is out there with Cowboy. Then there's Duncan. And it's Slaughter in at the one spot. Now that was a sensational feed. He hit him right on the move. Pass to Williams. Down low. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Here is Slay. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, I was able to speak with Brad Stevens for just a minute. He talked about how he wanted to attack this team in the first meeting of the season. He said our clubs are similar in a lot of ways. I think tonight's going to be more of a feeling out process. We do want to push the action and see how they respond, and we'll adjust from there. Hey, Kevin, back to you. All right, Doris, thanks. So it really could come down to the coaching match. You know, in terms of talent, these teams really are evenly matched, and that could really force it to boil down to which decisions are made by the coaching staff. Passes to Slaughter. Kicks it to Williams. And stolen by Holland. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Basket counts. Cowboys got his first two points. Here's Hollins. 11 points for him in that last game again. There's the pass to Callaway. Pass to Hollins. Now, here's Marshall. Shot clock at six. Over Slaughter. The rebound by Westfall. Miami trails by four. Fires from 18. Rebound by Wallace. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Well, he did a great job of staying patient, letting the man make his move, and getting right up on the jump shot. Now, here's Hollins. Here's Callaway. Tries again. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And the game plan is clear. Work the ball inside. Thank <laughs> you. 
One shot. On the free throw, no good. And it's Williams with the ball for Miami. Six-point game. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Tough night. I mean, they attacked on both ends, and, and unfortunately for them, they just got called for a lot of fouls. Oh, no question. The officials were active, trying to keep control of the game that affected the substitution. And it's Wallace with the jam. And nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. Well, well, that's just a good example of why the score is what it is. I mean, they need to protect the rim a lot better than that. The shot's good. Duncan's got his first two points of the night. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Now, here's Hollins. D right on him. Pass to Callaway. He kicks to Hollins. Over Williams. Hollins can't get it to go. Miami trails by three. Outside Williams. Cowboy passes to Duncan. Now here's Williams. He's guarded closer. To the paint. Here's Ruffin. Duncan trying to break loose. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Gotten 6 of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Marshall can't hit. Miami's gone 1-2 from long range in the first quarter. Cowboy passes to Westfall. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Westfall's got 5 points so far. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Now, here's Hollins. Defense right on him. Over Slaughter. That one wide left. Or Miami, they've gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Pass to Cowboy. Down low. Williams gets the bucket. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Marshall with it. 11 points for him in that last game again. Yeah, and don't forget about his passing. I mean, he didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Slaughter passes to Williams. Here's Westfall. And the officials call a traveling violation. So both teams making some changes here. NBA offenses have always been complex, and they always are evolving, but C-Web, the movement and precision now seems to be at another level. Uh, would you agree? You know what, Kev? I, I disagree a little bit with that. Mm. You know, having played in different teams with some complex offenses, it's still all the basics. You still have the old flex offense, and that's nothing but what Utah, Carl Malone, and John Stockton used some 20 years ago. You still have triangle principles, which is what Jordan and Pippen used some 20, 25 years ago. And if you really want to go back to the Bob Cousy days when he played with Bill Russell, you still have a lot of throwing it into the post and cutting off of it. I think the players have evolved and the player skill sets are better. But as far as offensive sets, I don't see that much has changed except how do you execute them and can you execute them with having the right position players with the correct skill set on the floor at the time that you call them to play. All right, I love your honest appraisal. defense 
to the paint. Here's Hubbard, cans the 12-footer. He's just able to shoot over people at a high rate. Yeah, using his size. That's what I like about his game. He understands where he has the advantage. Then he exploits it. Here's Raja. And the first shot of the night for him, no good. Gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Here's Marshall. Off target on the 15-footer. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. The pass to Carpenter. Four on the clock. From deep. Rebounded by Temple. Gone 0 3 from three point land. Nothing yet going outside. Marshall deciding where to go with it. Kicks to Kelly. And he uses the glass on the way up. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looked like the B was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Carpenter passes to Johnston. Right wing. Here's Nichols. Can't hit from 12. Being 47% from the field to start things off. Stolen. Here's Slaughter. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wint. Well, this is just another case where being aggressive wins out. Now, here's Marshall. The 10-footer. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. Miami trails by three. Carpenter passes to Slaughter. Shot clock at six. Miami needs to get a shot off. That one falls. Six points for him. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Kelly kicks to Marshall. Over to the left wing. Here's Hubbard. And a miss there on the triple. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. To the inside. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. Kelly dishes to Marshall. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the first. Shot clock at six. Puts up a three. Drills it from outside. Marshall's got seven. Let's it go from the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And that does it for the first quarter. The home team up four. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one guys what's your take on the home team so far getting high percentage looks wearing down that defense on the inside right and as the defense collapses that opens up inside out opportunity productive first quarter Miami trails by four we've got B train and it's Kelly in at the point guard position Slaughter passes to Carpenter. Here's Collinsworth. Good ball movement here by Miami. To the middle. Inside. Here's Nichols. He can't get it to go. Well, 50% from the four. And for Miami. And it's Collinsworth in at the four slot. 
And here's Marshall from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Ten points for him. I don't know if that was by design or by accident, but the D not paying any attention to him. We've got B-Train, and it's Temple in at the center position. Pass to Collinsworth. Knocks it loose. And here they come. And for Miami. And it's Johnston in at the three slot. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Here's Collinsworth. Here's Nichols. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the dunk is always the king of the highlight reel. We know it comes easy if you're 6'10 or bigger. But, Chris, there are little guys who can get up there and slam it down hard, too. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Westbrook absolutely scares me when he dunks the ball because Westbrook thinks he's 7' tall and tries to dunk like it every time. So <laughs> I love watching him attack the rim. Uh, how about Dennis Smith Jr.? His miss in the dunk contest last year was one of the most exciting dunks I've seen in a long time. It was. It was. Eric Bledsoe, Terry Rozier. Uh, I mean, these guys, uh, they attack the rim fearlessly, and they're going to posterize you if you're a big fella and sleeping on their hops. Good on the second free throw. Pass to Marshall. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Inside, pocket six, and the lead now, double digits on that bucket. Marshall's got 12 in the game. Once he gets open on the low block, it's just a matter of getting him the ball. Here's Collinsworth. Passes it to Westfall. No good from outside. It's a confidence shaker when you can't hit a wide open three like that. The pass to Johnston. Here's Collinsworth. Pass to Nichols. Here's Westfall. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. That was just a perfect possession. Getting in it in tight for the high percentage shot. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Temple. Just his first attempt. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Miami trails by 8. Here's Westfall. He's got 7. Passes it to Collinsworth. Down low. Here's Westfall. Missed it, shooting 50% at 3 for 6. Gone 3 of 4 from the 4 here in the second quarter. Here's Kelly. Now, here's Marshall. Shoots from 14. Here's Hubbard. No good with the layup. For Miami, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And the pass to Collinsworth. Drills it from outside. Collinsworth's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And timeout called by Nick Nurse. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming up.
So both teams making some changes here. And where the shot's been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for Miami. And clearly, this is a squad that makes its living in the paint. Very few teams are as determined to get the ball inside as much as they are. They aren't going to settle for jump shots. They're going to continue to pound it down low. Now, here's Hollins. He's covered closely. Has the cue. Second chance shot. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Cowboy. He's coming off a 19-point game against Philadelphia. Pass to Westfall. Outside Williams. Here's Westfall. He's covered by Hollins. Back to Williams. And not sure what he was thinking there. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. And just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. Here's Cowboy. Duncan scanning the floor. Pass to Westfall. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And there's the pass to Cowboy. From 11 feet away. And he overshot that one, missing. Gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Pass to Q. From downtown. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Q's got eight points in the quarter. If you thought the D was going to tighten up on him here in the second quarter, think again. Outside Williams. Passes to Cowboy. With a nice assist for Williams. Cowboys got five points so far. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. And I love it, Greg. Both sides inflicting damage from the perimeter. We'll see how the defense is adjusting. Now, here's Hollins. To the inside, here's Wallace. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Here's Cowboy. Here's Collinsworth, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Collinsworth's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Miami. Gotten it going from downtown in the second quarter. They're 3-3 three three on three-pointers. Kicks it to Wallace. Now, here's Hollins. Tight defense on him. Six on the shot clock. Here's Callaway. That shot, no good. And Miami the other way now. And we saw how competitive and entertaining the season series was between these two terrific teams last year. But it's always a marquee matchup on the schedule. I think it's going to be another fun set of games between them this year. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. Here is Slay. Can't hit from 12. 
Miami trails by eight. Here's Cowboy. He has five. Pass to Westfall. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And so far this quarter, he's been a little off on his game. Yeah, the scoring, I mean, it's not coming easy for him. You have to get into a little rhythm, but that's when you can make the extra pass. Play the role of the facilitator. Wallace against Duncan. To the inside. Ha! Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And some guys just have a nose for scoring, and this one couldn't have been any easier. I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Trails by 10. Slaughter passes to Westfall. There's the pass to Slaughter. Here's Cowboy. He's got five. Drains it from beyond the arc. Cowboy's got his third basket of the night. And look, the D has to be talking out there. They can't make threes that easy for them. Pass to Callaway. He kicks it to Hollins. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for two. Two shots. The first one falls. He's off on the second. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Slaughter. Misses the layup. Even that close to the bucket. That's a very tough finish in that kind of track. Poked loose. And the shot goes down. Hughes got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Something lit a fire under him this quarter. Their lead safe as long as he's on the floor. Slaughter. He's covered by Hollins. Pass to Cowboy. Good ball movement here by Miami. And the shot goes in. He's got eight. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Inside, here's Hobbs, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. It's his first trip to the line. Hobbs. Two shots. 
Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw, and Miami making a change here. So he can't get either to fall. Miami trails by eight. The pass to Carpenter. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Nice understanding of where to go with the pass there. Gone seven to 14 in the second quarter. Shooting to the tune of 50%. Pass to Hubbard. And here is Marshall. He's got 12. To the wing right side. Shoots. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Marshall's got 14 points for the game. Well, it's nice to have an option like him every time down the court. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Slaughter passes to Carpenter. No good on the three. And so it's the home team holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, Hoop fans. NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. EJ, Shaq, Jet. Taking a look at this home squad. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. The area where they impress me the most has been on the boards. When the shot's gone up, everybody goes for it. Just a matter of maintaining that energy, playing with that same kind of aggression in the final two quarters. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? They're not getting to the line or putting enough pressure on the defense. They have to be much more aggressive pushing the basketball, going hard to the rack. Because if you want the ref to make a call, put them in a position to make a judgment call. If you're not creating opportunities for contact, you have no chance of picking up points at the line. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. What a game we're seeing from B-Train. Yeah, so far they haven't found an answer for him. A, a scoring machine here in that first half. Oh, well, he's a tricky cover. He does a good job of sensing the defense, making the right move at the right time. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. We've got B-Train. Wallace is out there with Q. And it's Callaway in at the power forward. Passes it to Q. That's his fourth miss. He's made five of nine. Miami trails by six. Here's Cowboy. The three hits it from three-point range. He's got 11. No doubt that was a defensive mistake. You got to have a guy on him at all times. Now, here's Hollins. Defense right on him. Duncan against Wallace. Pass to Marshall. From 11 feet away, that's his sixth miss and 12 field goal attempts. Miami's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight and nailed five of them. And there's the pass to Slaughter. Now 
out to the right wing. Here's Ruffin. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Hollins. Picked him clean. Slaughter. He's covered by Hollins. That quick look, no good that time. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. He's got to be better in those situations. I'd love to hear his explanation to coach right there. I mean, that should be an interesting conversation. On the wing, Wallace. They need this one. Good. Wallace has got eight. And you just hate to give up those second chance points. Uh, it can be discouraging, frustrating, but you only have yourselves to blame. Box out. Here's Westfall. He's got seven. Passes it to Slaughter. To the paint. Lock at six. Good ball movement here by Miami. Duncan. And it's sent back by Waltz. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Off the inbound pass. Rebound by Wallace. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And here's Marshall from the arc. Here's Callaway. No good. Shot missing. Excellent D there from Williams. Miami trails by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Westfall. Six on the shot clock. Duncan at the elbow. Here's Ruffin. No good with the wing jumper. Look, it would be a huge boost for them if he could start knocking these down. Marshall inside the three-point line. And it's Miami with the rebound. Cowboys got six rebounds now in the game. To the middle, here's Westfall. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here is Slay. They get it back. Marshall passes to Callaway. The shot's good. Marshall making the play. Marshall's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Miami trails by seven. Outside Williams. The pass to Cowboy. Fade away. Miami no good on that time either gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Kelly. Over in the corner, Marshall. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. Marshall's got 16. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Now a timeout called by Miami. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. And a new group getting ready for Miami. Collinsworth, the pass to Westfall. Pass to Johnston to end the cold streak. Rebounded by Temple. Temple's got five rebounds tonight. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. There's the dish to Marshall. The shot. Good on the jump shot. 18 points for him. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Yeah, and it's been a team game, a number of contributions. Guys staying focused. That's why the league continues to grow. Here's Westfall. He's got seven. Comes up empty down low. 
And here they come. Passes to Callaway. And there's the feed to Temple. Kicks it to Marshall. Pass to Temple. Miami grabs the miss. Next up for them, the Knicks, a road game in New York. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Collinsworth, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. The pass to Marshall. Here's Temple. Shoots a fader. Collinsworth grabs the board. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Tries again. He lays it in. Look, he doesn't waste time. Once he gets the rebound, he does what he should. Goes right back up with it. Gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to Hubbard. Now, here's Marshall. He's guarded closely. Passes it to Hubbard. Just five on the clock. Here's Kelly. It's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. So both teams changing it up here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. On Saturday, they'll tip off a road trip in Washington where they'll take on the Wizards. And then on Monday, they'll head home to take on the Charlotte Hornets. And the matchup with the Timberwolves, it's a chance for them to come out and knock off the top dog in the league. A win there can be a big step forward for this team. Here's Collinsworth. He has seven. The pass to Carpenter. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Raja. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Now here's Marshall. Tight defense on him. Off with the layup. I like the burst to the bucket right there, but the finish has got to be better. Off target from three-point range. Being about 42% so far. Pass to Hubbard. One fifty-eight left to play in the third. Six to shoot. Ball's knocked loose. From deep three-point range. And it's Miami with the rebound. Here's Johnston. Offensive rebound. Nichols. And he banks in the layup. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. We've got 128 left in the third. Now Marshall. He's got 18. Down low. Wants to get it to Hollins and dies. Here's Hobbs. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. To the inside. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Five points in the game. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Marshall with it. There's 42 seconds left to play in the third. And that one's good, Allen. Here's Collinsworth. He's got seven. Pass to Johnston. 
Here's Collinsworth. Moves back up. Rebounded by Temple. Temple's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Now, here's Owens. Over Slaughter. Off on that one. And so it's the home team with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Hey, we're still in it because you're getting stuck. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And around 41% on the night. On the floor for Miami starting the fourth. We've got Williams and it's Slaughter in at the point. Pass to Temple. And here is Marshall. Tries it from 19 and right through it goes. Marshall's got 20. Probably wasn't the shot they were looking for, but they'll take the bucket. Kicks it to Williams. Over Temple. Williams can't get it to go. Williams has gone one of three from the field here. And here is Marshall. Chalk up two there. 22 points for him. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. The pass to Johnston. Five to shoot. Pass to Slaughter. This one for three. Rebound by Marshall. Marshall's got his fifth rebound in this one. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. One shot, gentlemen. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Passes it to Q. Unloads from 13. Reverses, and it's laid in by Wallace. Gives him a double-double in this one. 10 points and 11 rebounds. Outside Williams. Now the pass to Cowboy. Tipped away. Gone an outstanding four of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Inside, here's Wallace. That ball, great assist by Marshall. Marshall's got six assists now in the game. That was all about the assist. Great pass to set up the shot. Now a timeout called by Miami. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Man, this is a joke. I mean, there have been some glimpses of hope, but they've been few and far between.
So both teams making some changes here. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, look, here's what Brad Stevens went over with his guys during the break. He's not satisfied with their effort level. He said, we're not hustling out there, guys. We are not going to win that way. I promise you. We've got to get after it. We'll see how his team responds. Here's Westfall. Lock at six. Here's Ruffin. Miami no good on that time either. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Miami trails by 13. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Pass to Westfall. Feeds it to Duncan. That shot off. Nice defense from Waltz. Gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Each team has one inactive player per night. Uh, would upping that amount, you think, C-Webb, uh, of, of active players on game day change anything at all? I don't believe so because the inactive player we're talking about usually is at the bottom of the roster. And so if you look at the next man up theory, that means that the last guy on the bench at that time, uh, it's his time to get that playing time. So I, I don't think that the inactive players would, would change anything because it's still a team sport. And, and those guys earn their playing time in practice. And so that guy at the end of the bench is still one of the greatest players in the world and can contribute at any time. Slaughter. He's covered by Hollins. Back to Williams. To stop the run. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Now Hollins. And there's the defensive three-second call. And the free throw, no good, but they'll get the ball back here. Here's Hollins to the left side wing. Five on the clock, shoots from the baseline. Nice D from Williams. Miami trails by 16. Here's Westfall. Offline with his three. It's the look he wants to steal no more. Tough knife. Pass to Hollins. Passes to Q. He kicks it to Hollins. From deep. And it's Miami with the rebound. Williams has got his fourth rebound in this one. That's going to be over and back, not watching for the line that time. And hate to make a mistake there, have to stay focused. You're so right, trying to shrink the deficit. Sometimes you push too hard to make something happen. Now, here's Marshall. Q passes to Marshall. To the inside, it's tipped. Slaughter. He's covered by Hollins. And the pass to Westfall. Pass to Slaughter. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Ruffin. That's good from 17 feet away. Marshall with it. Oh, 
draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. The free throw off for Marshall. And here's Duncan. He'll bring it up for Miami. They trail by 16. Slaughter. He's covered by Hollins. Five to shoot. That's tipped and stolen by Holland. To the middle. Here's Marshall, and he converts the layup. Marshall's got 14 points here in the second half. Beautiful lead pass. The finisher never has to break stride. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. I think you'll probably see more arguments on those illegal screen calls than just about any other play. Maybe the charge call, but guys never think they were moving. Now, here's Hollins. Here's Marshall. Steps back and shoots. Here's Wallace. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Kicks to Williams. Slaughter passes to Duncan. Compared to when you were playing C-Web, how have the baseline skill requirements for the fours and the fives, the power forwards and the centers, changed, do you think, the most? The ability to stretch the floor. It's a lot more emphasis on the mobility, especially at the defensive end. And I don't think you can have a player who is a specialist anymore in the game. I played with some great defenders. Ben Wallace, the, the Davis uh, boys there in, in Indiana, but those positions are no longer valued or needed anymore. You can no longer be a defensive player that can't score on the other end. You have to be a player in the NBA now with the total skill set. That means mobility, shooting, dribble, passing. All of those things have to be encompassed or there's a way to make sure to highlight you with the mismatch and take you out of the game. Good documentation. Like, yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. Oh, this is a, no question about it. And you wonder if these matchups aren't favoring them right now. now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, B-Train. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. This is as good a game as we've seen him play, and this crowd can't get enough of it. When he explodes like this, it becomes a special atmosphere in here. Miami trails by 19. Here's Westfall. Pass to Cowboy. And the baseline jumper, no good. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Here's Westfall, just five on the clock. 
Here's Ruffin. Rebound by Wallace. Wallace has got 15 rebounds here tonight. And Marshall kicks to Wallace. Over Duncan. Miami grabs the miss. Williams has got five rebounds tonight. The pass to Slaughter. 122 left in the fourth quarter. Chris Coach turnover happens a lot in the NBA. And there are some people that feel that, you know, teams are too quick to make a change. What do you think? Every situation is different. Sometimes it's an obvious change is needed, but sometimes it feels more like desperation. Think about it. The best franchises typically have stability. And fans aren't stupid. They know when their team is just trying to throw a, a worm out there to catch and to see who they can get. Or mm -hmm. if they're using the past coach as a scapegoat, trying to redirect the emotions of the fans to direct them to cheer for their team uh, further on. But a lot of times I tell you this, though, coaches getting fired are because the players don't execute and follow through. A lot of times it's not the coach's fault, but usually they have to take the fall, and that's what being the leader is all about. And unfortunately for the coaches, there is quick turnover, but uh, hopefully they can land back on their feet at a new place with another job, with the team that will listen and let them set the coach. Good insight. And giving the fans what they came to see, a, a spirited performance. Yeah, with a double-digit lead at this point, they can pretty much mark this one up in the win column. Pass to Westfall. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Top of the key, Duncan. To the left wing. Good D, good D. Nice defense from Waltz. Now, here's Marshall. And so the home crowd treated to a win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.